It says five stars. Five South African stars. <laughs> well, you wait and see, it's pretty nice. <laughs> Okay. Who doesn't see this yet? I haven't seen it. But I mean, we're camping. How can you possibly have a five star campsite? Well, I mean, it can be. So, Ralph is completely right. Amphitheater Backpackers is next level. It's amazing. And in the light of day, when the GoPro can actually film stuff, I will hopefully film a little bit of it. Yay! <laughs> Welcome to Roughing It With Ruth, the channel where everything is a bit rough around the edges. So Amphitheater Backpackers is way nicer than I was expecting. I was just expecting a kind of regular campsite, but it's got a really, really lovely bar area and a jacuzzi and a sauna and like games areas and little chill out areas with couches and so on and very nice braai areas as well. It's one of the nicest campsites that I've ever been to actually. Oh, the other thing that's really cool about this place is their decor is amazing. Like the inside of the bar and everywhere, it's it's really it, it's really funky. It's nicely thought out and it, it gives the place a nice atmosphere, I think. Okay, so they also, in addition to the sauna and the jacuzzi and everything, they also have a swimming pool and they have a small little like bouldering, climbing cave thing just behind the bar. And they have a pool table and a foosball table and a darts area. It's wow, they're just so many different things to do. And they're also very friendly, the reception staff, like they will book other activities for you. There was almost nothing bad to say about this place. It is very close to the Drakensberg, which is good in a lot of ways because it's actually a nice staging area if you want to go and do hikes in the Drakensberg. It's very close to the Royal Natal area. It's reasonably close to the Mweni area and it's kind of fairly close to the Cathedral Peak area. So it's actually quite a good location, but it can get very, very windy here and it can get very, very cold. So if you're camping like we did in a tent, just make sure that you really stake your tent out properly because the wind was an issue when we camped here. The rooms are like slightly more on the pricey side, but camping is very, very reasonable. And if you camp, you still get access to all these cool things like the jacuzzi and the sauna and all of the bar areas and everything. There's also one other slight downside. The place is right next to a relatively main road. So especially in the evenings, you can hear a little bit of tra traffic noise when you're trying to sleep. And it can get a little bit loud, depending on how many people are staying here and uh, what kind of people are staying here, if they're having a lot of parties and stuff. It can get a little bit loud. So it's not like a secluded, quiet, peaceful getaway. But if you're wanting to socialize with people and camp and go hiking, this is a perfect spot. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more.